Hi, it's Mrs. Souza. On Earth Day, I shared a post on Blackboard about a Google Doodle. Yes. I'll say that again. A Google Doodle. Many of you might have heard about a Google Doodle, but you may not know what I'm talking about. When you go to google.com, their homepage usually has a Google logo on it, but it usually changes daily, sometimes multiple times a day. And I wanted to share with you where the Google Doodles are stored so that you can go and check them out because there's a ton of information in those little Google Doodles. I don't know if you have ever said Google Doodle more than one time fast. I'm going to try it. Google Doodle, Google Doodle, Google Doodle, Google Doodle, Google Doodle. Hello, we are here on Miss Sousa's computer. I opened up a new tab in my web browser and I typed in google.com. This is the current Google Doodle that is up. Stay and play at home with popular past Google Doodles. This one is coding from 2017. So if you miss this logo, the next time that you come on to google.com, I'm going to show you how to get to it. <laughs> this is a pretty cool game, by the way. Did you know that all of these are hyperlinks? So that means it will take you to something. Let's check out this Google Doodle from their archive 2017. Now this one, this one was kind of fun. Collect carrots on the way using the code blocks. Place the arrow in the tray to make me hop forward. Okay. Press the play button. All right. So I see my little arrow button. I'm coding. Hey, we know what this is. Woohoo! We know what coding is. At Oakview, we do lots of coding. Let's try a turn. Add a turn and then an arrow. Turn and then an arrow. And we're just practicing here. Let's code. All right, so I think I needed the, uh, the straight and then I, I think I have to go straight again. And then it looks like I have to turn and then maybe straight and straight. Let's check it out. I had to go straight, straight, turn, straight, straight. I don't know. Let's try it. Woohoo! Oh, we see we're getting a little more complex here. This is pretty cool. I want to show you how to actually get to Google Doodles now. So here we are on the top of my web browser. I'm going to put in Google dot com backslash doodles and here we go these are the this is the google doodle i think let's scroll down a little bit um you can check out all of our playable games videos and toys and what i wanted to show you oh yes here we go this one will be for tomorrow. I think that this is a past doodle. Yes, popular past doodle. Cricket. Ooh, interesting. We'll have to check that one out. Um, this one was up yesterday in the Netherlands. Um, they did a past coding game today. That was the one we just looked at. Um, that one was up on the 25th and the 26th. Sometimes they change them midday, and sometimes, depending on where you live, like in Turkey, they may have another interactive hyperlink up there. So here's where all of the Google Doodles are from, um, I'm not even sure, this year? Because I scrolled down at one point, and it was like, so here we are in March. I mean, you can click on them and read about them. Some of them are interactive. Some of them are informative. Some of them are from different countries. But they all say the word Google somewhere in the logo. Did you know that? I really like the artist. Oh, let's see. How about Frida? 
just put in Frida right now and see what that comes up with. Ah, there she is. This here's one that they made from of Frida Kahlo. Um, this was for her on her 103rd birthday, and it's it's a Google Doodle from 2010. Let's see what information it might share with us when I click on the Google Doodle logo. Um, yep, and then it tells you all about her as a painter. Yep, how she damaged her back. Uh, yep, that's pretty cool. So let's find out a little bit more about what are Google Doodles. So they are, as it reads, we read on the top here, Doodles are the fun, surprising, and sometimes spontaneous changes that are made to the Google logo to celebrate holidays, anniversaries, and the lives of famous artists, pioneers, and scientists. In 1998, Google, before it even was like a big thing, so the founders placed a stick figure drawing behind the second O in the word Google and then revised the logo as it was intended as a comical message to the Google users. While the first doodle was relatively simple, the idea of decorating the company logo to celebrate notable events was born. It was so well received that uh, basically they <laughs> they made him uh, the Google the <laughs> Google's chief doodler. Um, and I knew about I, I know about doodlers. That's their actual job um, position. They, there is a team of people that are hired, not as graphic designers. They are hired as Google doodlers, and that is their that is their job. Um, and how many has Google done over the years? Check this out. The team has created over four thousand doodles. Who chooses the doodles? A group of Googlers get together regularly to brainstorm, and then they decide which events should be celebrated with a doodle. Wow. That was a... It, this just leads you down a rabbit hole, people. Children's Day, Google for Doodle in 2010. This was India's winner. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so at any rate, this is how you get to the uh, Google Doodles archive. Um... So let's go ahead and check out the one that, that I had, like, I loved. I still do. This is the Earth Day for 2020. Happy 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Today we celebrate our planet and one of its smallest, most critical organisms, the bee. Did you know pollination by bees makes two-thirds of our world's crops possible? as well as 85% of the world's flowering plants. Learn more about our winged friends and help them in their journey to pollinate. You kind of move this little, here's your little bee. You have to go where all the little dots are, um, like hovering, and you have to go, oh, boo. Let's try that again. Where all the dots are hovering, and then you bring it over to a flower and you pollinate. I have a pink one. There you go. I've been collecting a bunch, I guess. Yep. I have got another pink one, so I need to deliver it to a pink flower. Looks like I have a red and a pink one still connected to me. That means I can deliver those to, is that one or just a baby one? Bees are especially attracted to plants that are bright, have contrasting colors, and it, it was too fast for Miss Sousa. Disappeared. I don't have yellow. There we go. I've collected yellow. Let's pollinate. And again, you can find that just by going to google.com backslash doodles. And again, that takes you here. You can search for different doodles. You can find the one that I really liked by putting in coding. If you put in code, uh-huh, looks like... I wonder if all of these are in some sort of code. Invention of the barcode. That would be interesting. Ooh, look, Morris code. Samuel Morris's birthday. There it is. When I put in the word code, down here at the bottom, celebrating 50 years of kids coding. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm a big fan of Google Doodles, and I, I secretly I maybe I would like to be a Google Doodler. Um, it's it's a fun idea, and 
you know, there it's still very, it's still identifiable. G O O G L E. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to see the word Google. Google Google.com backslash doodles. I'll see you next time.